Hey there my little second hand master chiefs. If you can remember way back to episode 6 I showed you the easy method of customizing your YouTube page. But for those of you that thirst for full control, here's how you can create your own YouTube theme from scratch using free tools. Alright, let's jump right into this. First thing you need is a YouTube channel template, and as I showed you last time, you can find that at pimpmychannel.com. Click on background template, and you can choose from either the old template or the new Cosmic Panda template, which is for the newer version of YouTube yet to be released. I'm going to use the regular one. Now, this downloads as a Photoshop file, but we can use a free alternative to Photoshop to open it up and edit it. It's called paint.net, and you can find that at this website. But in order for it to open up Photoshop files, you first have to download a file extension from here. Just download it and unzip it to the file types folder in your paint.net directory. The cool thing about paint.net is that it has so many free plugins that you can use to make some really awesome stuff. So a majority of making a theme is left up to how creative you can be. One of the plugins I'll be using for this tutorial is the Ed Harvey Effects Pack, which you can find here. Unzip this one to the Effects folder in paint.net. Then launch paint.net and open up the YouTube template that you downloaded. If you look at all the different layers of the image, you can delete the watermarks and the ones that you don't need. You'll notice that each module is on a separate layer, so feel free to rearrange these modules to match your channel. Then you can change the colors and add text and images all you want. But what I want to do with mine is give it kind of a retro computer screen feel. So here's what I'm going to do to accomplish that. First merge all the module layers into one. Make them dark green and make the background black. Then select the module layer again and go to effects, photo, glow. And set the settings to 20, 90, and 60 respectively. Thanks to the plug impact that we installed earlier, you can go to Effects, Blurs, and choose True Blur and set it to 21. Then apply the Glow effect again, but this time set the contrast to negative 100. Next thing you want to do is duplicate this layer and go to Effects, Stylize, Seismograph, and set the values to 4, 2.35, 6, and 3 respectively. Then set the blending mode to multiply and add some noise to the layer with the values set to 45, 0, and 100. Now go back and select our original module layer and add effects, distort, frosted glass with the values set to 200, 3, and 8. Then add effects, stylize, halftone and set those values to 5, 0, 100, negative 25, and 5. This gives it kind of an eerie glowing computer screen feel. So as a last touch I'm going to add a rendition of my logo and save everything as a JPEG file with the quality set to around 50% because any larger in YouTube may not upload it. Then open up your YouTube channel, click themes and colors, click show advanced options and then go to the background image and upload your new image. Then simply adjust the font, wrapper color, and transparency settings to match it. Got a cool theme that you want to show off? Well, sorry man, go go it somewhere else. Just kidding. Leave your username in the comments so we can check it out. Alright, I will see you guys next week.